When it comes to previewing Italy's round of 16 clash with Austria at Euro 2020, there's only one person that I want to talk about, and it's none of the players. It's Italy's head coach, Roberto Mancini, who quite frankly is doing something amazing with the Azzurri right now. Yeah, we all know the stats. This 11 game winning run, 32 goals scored along the way, nothing conceded, uh, equaling records as they go, and presumably setting even more. And at the tournament alone, of course, it's three wins in the group stage, a 100% record, no goals conceded. And it's the nature of what they've been doing. They have the best goal difference, of course, they also are topping the stats for most shots, most through balls attempted. And anyone who watches football can see that this is a team that's not doing things the pragmatic way. They're doing it the ambitious, entertaining way. And that in itself is an incredible story. Not that any of us are clinging to old-fashioned and outdated stereotypes about Italian football. There shouldn't be a surprise that this is happening. It's just that it's happening under Roberto Mancini right now, and it keeps going on. The reason I say this is Roberto Mancini had kind of drifted a little bit away, hadn't he, in terms of his club career, from maybe the mainstream consciousness. But there's also no denying that this man is a proven winner. In terms of major honours in major European leagues, he is head and shoulders above every other head coach at these European championships. And what I like about what he's doing is that it's obvious that he's doing it with players from unfashionable clubs. He's doing it without any major personalities or, dare I say, prima donnas in his squad. He's rotating Perfectly, he probably will bring Marco Verratti into the starting lineup because of his sumptuous showing on his return from injury. But everything's comfortable within that squad and within the Italian public in terms of what he chooses to do, the way he sets his team up, the fact that it's Roberto Mancini quite clearly playing with style on and demonstrating plenty of it off the pitch as well. So where's this coming from? It's coming, I believe, from hunger. He, despite being a supremely gifted player, by his own admission, probably didn't achieve what he should have done in his playing career with the Azzurri. So there's a hunger there from Mancini. And I also suspect that having worked at the very biggest of clubs with some big name players and temperaments, he's rather enjoying the fact that he's with a group of players amongst whom he is the star. He, for me, is the personality. Whenever you interview Roberto Mancini, there is a charisma about him. There is an understated class. There's a message that comes from him. And that's not a bad thing. In fact, it's a really good thing. Because in my estimation, that is what has turned Italy into the force they are right now. And that is what makes them, for me, still right up there as favourites. Many people say you can blaze through a group stage and things will fall apart. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon for Italy and Roberto Mancini.